Greetings to every one of you. So in this video, we are going to discuss another important concept from data structures and algorithm that is Kruskal's algorithm for minimum spanning tree. Let me explain what uh, spanning tree is. Spanning tree, it is a, a subset of uh, the given graph with uh, selective edges. The minimum spanning tree, it means selecting the edges which are having the less weight. So overall, we'll get uh, the minimum cost for creating this tree. The rules regarding converting a graph into its equivalent spanning tree that uh, includes you have to remove all these uh, loops or parallel edges which cost more and similarly after converting a graph into that is a spanning tree in which you should have v minus 1 edges if v number of vertices are there your tree should contain v minus 1 edges we have to avoid cycles. So these are the, the basic uh, rules. Let us go to this algorithm, Kruskal's algorithm. The algorithm says, first of all, you have to that is, sort all the edges in the ascending order of the given weight. Pick the edge which has less weight. That is the step number two. You have to select the edge with the minimum cost or minimum weight so that the Kruskal algorithm it is a greedy algorithm check for cycle or loops if there is no cycles or loop then include that node otherwise discard it finally you have to repeat the step number two until visiting all the vertices and uh, finally it will produce the spanning tree with my v minus 1 edges if there are v number of vertices and your spanning tree should contain v minus 1 number of edges now let us go to this uh, problem this is a given problem and we have to convert uh, this uh, graph into its equivalent the minimum spanning tree actually this graph contain totally there are six vertices and uh, it contain 12 edges as per the rule the first uh, rule it says that uh, there should not be any loops and parallel edges see for example you take uh, this particular that is uh, a to b the edge a to b here you have uh, that is one weight is uh, 5 and another uh, there is a, a edge which cost 8 this is 5 and this is 8 so you have to that is uh, select the minimum cost you have to that is select the, the minimum edge and you have to remove that um, parallel edge which cost that to cost more okay and another important thing is uh, regarding this uh, loops what do you mean by loops the loops are uh, nothing but uh, pointing the same uh, vertex pointing to the same vertex is called the loops so even though their cost is uh, less we have to that is remove it so we have two loops and we have to remove those uh, loops now we got um, you know we satisfy these uh, rules first thing is uh, remove loops and this uh, the parallel edges again uh, the edge which cost more comparatively this is the uh, required graph and uh, from this we have to that is uh, get our MST that is minimum spanning tree so for that uh, we just uh, have this uh, what are the what is the source node and what is the destination node what is the destination node and uh, it's a corresponding the weight 
okay so for that uh, we will have the graph this is a b and uh, this is f and similarly this is d sorry c and this is d and this is e these are the nodes now this is the source let us consider we have to consider from the minimum weight so what is the minimum weight comparatively the minimum weight is uh, 2 so you have to that is uh, select it from that is 2 so which are the vertices having this weight 2 so see that uh, we have 2 here and uh, another 2 here so the source uh, let us consider source is b and uh, the destination is c we have that is uh, 1 2 here b to f we have another 2 so what is the next uh, value the minimum value comparatively 3 is the minimum value so 3 is the minimum value so we have uh, 2 3 2 weights that is uh, we have uh, you know and weight uh, 3 we got to 2 edges so one is uh, this a to d and another is uh, c to d this is also 3 okay so then um, next node next to next weight is uh, 4 so far 4 we have that is only one node only one edge that is uh, c to f c to f okay then uh, next one is 5 that is a to b it is a to b that is 5 then 6 it is b to d it is b to d that is 6 then we have a value that is uh, a to e it is um, 7 then 8 is uh, gone then uh, it is uh, d to e it is 9 so these are the different weights just we sorted the edges in the ascending order so that is our first step now what you have to do pick the edge with which has uh, less weight so here we are applying the greedy method greedy algorithm so select the minimum i mean minimum weight okay so here uh, we have what's that this is minimum b to c b to c it is minimum that is uh, cost uh, that is 2 and b to f it is also minimum and you have to check that uh, whether any that is loops or cycle forms if any loop or cycle forms that you have to leave it so here we don't have any that is uh, loops or cycle so these nodes are included these edges are included now again uh, a to d that is the minimum value a to d that is 3 cost is i mean weight is 3 similarly c to d c to d it is also 3 we have included these edges now we have included four edges so what about uh, c to f c to f it is um, you know if you include this node so what will happen c to f which forms a cycle okay if there is no cycle forms we can include otherwise we have to discard it so here it forms a cycle so this node this edge should be there is discarded we cannot include because it forms a cycle then next one is a to b a to b if you include this edge so what will happen again here also you will get cycle okay so this is also invalid then b to d b to d here again you, which forms a cycle we cannot include this then a to e a to e no problem we can include this then d to e it forms a cycle okay so this cannot be included so this is the the minimum spanning tree what is required for this uh, you know the graph the given graph is now converted into the spanning tree minimum spanning tree now you can check with the you know your rules see that uh, what are the rules that is given here remove that is a uh, loops parallel 
edges and cost more and uh, verify that um, v vertices and v minus 1 edges are there so there are to totally there are uh, six vertices six vertices are there and now count it how many edges are there there is 1 2 3 4 5 five edges are there now what is the cost of this spanning tree that we have to calculate so the total cost the total weight it is nothing but uh, you know 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 and uh, this a to e a to e is nothing but uh, 7 so totally that is uh, it is 17 okay understand so the next important concept regarding this uh, spanning tree is uh, the time complexity so as far time complexity is concerned it is the uh, order of e log e so e refers uh, the edges okay so the number of edges of um, again log of uh, these edges once if the space complexity is concerned it is nothing but uh, the order of e it depends upon uh, the number of uh, the edges okay i hope uh, you understood the concept i explained about uh, what is uh, spanning tree minimum spanning tree and i explained the what are the rules and also just uh, i explained this algorithm kruskal's algorithm and uh, of course it is a greedy method then um, finally we we solve the problem and we check the results with the the rules and also i gave the note regarding the time complexity and uh, space complexity. Thank you.